Okay, welcome back, and uh, I'm going to do things a little out of out of order from what the manual says. I like to get the front end done before I do the tail end. Uh, so I'm going to work on the front end, meaning the tank and the engine and all that stuff. It's easier to work on the airplane like this uh, with all that, with, without all of that down there. So um, to start with, I got the tank. I uh, got the stopper that came with it the tubing that came with it, and the clunk that came with it. But when you put this tubing here, only put it on about a quarter of an inch and then push the rest out. Uh, so you got more out here than you do in there. And then these two should be the same. And the part that points up here uh, should end right there. Uh, so that's good. And when you do that, um, and you put this in, um, two, two things are important. Okay, let me get it in there. It's important to get it in there. Okay, so the first thing is to make sure that you can, it's, you can hold it up to the light and you can see that that bent piece is up at the top here. That's good. Okay, the other thing you can do is hold it up like this and you can see that the, that the, um, uh, clunk is toward the bottom actually and i'll push this back in a little bit right there okay so you can see that the clunk is all the way to the bottom and to the bottom down here so that when you go to suck all the gas out it'll actually all come out okay um then the next thing i recommend is to install the orange line on the top one because the top one is the vent and um, if it's not already done so, uh, this side is nice, clean, and straight. The other side is not. So I'm going to put the straight side in there first. See anyway, what? The, the screw that this screws down with is one of those crazy screws. It's part uh, flat blade and part Phillips. So I'm going to take a small Phillips and tighten that first. You want it good and tight, but not so tight that it won't let you put, put the uh, tank in. Let me just test, put the tank in here, make sure it goes in good. Yep, that'll be fine. Okay. So now that now that that's tight, I'm going to put the orange line on the top, just like that. I'm going to put the orange line on the top. Make sure I have a nice square end here on the blue one. Put the blue line on the bottom. That way you know which one's which when very easily. Okay, there's your tank. Now the next thing to do is mount the tank. <clears throat> so I've cut a small piece of foam, a uh, quarter inch thick to put down in the bottom uh, underneath the hatch here. But before I put it in, I'm going to take two pieces of one wrap Velcro. Okay, I like the Velcro brand of one wrap. One wrap. Um, and uh, I find it's better quality, sticks better. Uh, so I like the brand name. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is take these two ten and a half inch pieces. Actually, you uh, you're probably going to end up cutting a little of it off, but that's all right. Take a pair of forceps here. Grab that Velcro and pull it up. Okay. And put the other one in. Okay, 
see, make sure you got both pieces of Velcro hanging out the top here. And then um, put in the foam. And the foam isn't tight. It's sitting on the bottom and will cover the bottom of this. But don't uh, have it, I don't wrap it around the, the tank. Okay. So now I'm going to put the fuel tank in. Now, a combination of this foam um, and the Velcro is going to prevent that tank from sliding backwards. Sometimes I, I would put a wooden block down there, but I'm not going to. I like to be able to remove my tanks in case I need to clean them or change them. Um, so now I'm going to just make sure the Velcro is good and straight. Now I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut that Velcro off. Okay. So it looks like you only need maybe 10 inches instead of 10 and a half in the back. But because the thing is slanted, you're going to probably cut more off the front here. That tank isn't going to go anywhere. You have to make sure when you put that in, and I and uh, I can tell it. Let me see. Yeah, I can tell it visually um, that the uh, that the tank is uh, up against the collar in the firewall. There's a black collar inside with the, that holds the tank in place, and the quarter inch of foam or thereabouts is squished a little bit is just enough. To make that tank level. Um, so that's the tank installation and um, uh, we'll be working on the engine and uh, engine mounts and that kind of thing uh, coming up. So um, pretty easy to put the tank in. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.